Grade 6 math number 3.5, subtract fractions with renaming, also known as borrowing for the older folks. Do you remember last year in fifth grade that when the same number is the numerator and the denominator, that fraction equals 1? It doesn't matter what the number is. You could have 99 99ths and it'll equal 1 as long as the numerator and denominator are the same number. Okay? Well, when we subtract fractions after we find like denominators, we might notice that the minuend number is too small to subtract from. The minuend is this big number that we're trying to subtract from, okay? The subtrahend is the number that's being taken from it. Well, if this numerator is too small, we can't subtract the 3 from the 1, see? So what we do is we take 1 from the 5, we rename it as a 4 fourths because that's the denominator that's being used, and we add the 4 fourths to this 1 fourth. Now it's 5 fourths. Now we can subtract. Now we can take 3 fourths from the 5 fourths. We get 2. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. And then we reduce it to lower terms, and we know 2 can go into both the 2 and the 4, and we know the final answer is 2 and a half. So what's happening is, we had five and a fourth. Here's our five bars and one fourth bar. And we needed to take away two and three fourths. And the only way to do it was by cutting into one of the other whole bars. See? That's what we did. And we took some of it. And now what's left is the green two and a half. See? Because we took two and one, two, three fourths. And it left the two and a half. Okay. Well, Anytime a fraction has the same numerator as denominator, it equals 1. So if we have 7 and 1 ninth, we could turn it into a 6, and then the 9 ninth that we pulled out of it, that is the whole one, and then we have that 1 ninth that was originally there. So that gives us 6 and 10 ninths. See? If we have 11 and 3 sevenths, we can pull a 7 sevenths out of this as a 1 whole, and we can turn this into 10 and 10 sevenths. See? We add this to the fraction and turn it into a numerator large enough to subtract from. Now we can subtract with, from that one. 3 and 1 third could become 2 and 4 thirds. 6 and 3 eighths could become 5 and 11 eighths. See? Because we're pulling an 8 eighths out of this or a 3 thirds out of that one. It's whatever the denominator is that will guide you for what, it's gonna, what is going to happen. Well, what happens if you have a whole number and no fraction and you need to take a fraction from it? We can take the 8 and turn it into a 7 and 8 eighths and then we could do our subtraction. We get 1 eighth and then a 4 here. We have 4 and 1 eighth. We take a whole one away from here and we break it into 8 eighths and we give it to the numerator. See, we break it into 8 and add it to this guy up here. So if you look, these all equal 8. We have an 8, then we have a 7 and 8 eighths. That's 8. It's a 7 and one more. That's 8. We have a 6 and 16 eighths. Believe it or not, that's 8. These are all 8. 5 and 24 eighths. See, what we're doing is we're pulling another whole one out of each one and taking the 8 and adding it to the numerator each time. By the time we're finished and we do it to all of them, we have 64 eighths because 8 goes into 64 eight times. It would be reduced to its lowest terms as a whole number 8, see? So every single one of these equals 8. If it says evaluate the expression and you don't see any parentheses, well, we know that the PEMDAS rules the order of operations rules tell us to add and then subtract. So, if you don't see any parentheses, follow the order of operations anyway. We'll add these two together, and we'll get a 5, and then the 1 eighth and the 7 eighths makes an 8 eighth. It makes a 6. See? Now we can take the 4 and 7 tenths away, but we have to turn this into a 5 and 10 tenths. See, based on that denominator. We pulled one away and made a 10 tenths so that we could do the subtraction. We get 3 tenths. 5 take away 4 is 1. And our answer is 1 and 3 tenths. See? So just remember, it doesn't matter what your denominator is. 
you can still make one whole by having the same number as the numerator and the denominator. Okay? I hope this explained it well enough. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye!